Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are doing well in your life. Myself Vikrant and welcome back to at another video. So in this video, we are gonna see what are media queries. In the previous video, we had seen how to how to make our web pages responsive as per our HTML tags and with the help of CSS. So media queries plays a very important role to make our web pages responsive. So to, in this video, we are gonna see how to implement that thing so with the help of example we are going to see if you are new to the channel then do subscribe to the channel and if you find the content useful then don't forget to share this content with your friends as well so without getting a further ado let's get started so today we are going to see like how our web page works responsively for this screen size particularly for iPhone, for iPad and for many monitor. So basically uh, in today's world we are we have this t three types of screen sizes only. Okay, I am not uh, saying that we don't have any other screen sizes but the majority of the devices whether they are they might be mobile phones or they can be iPad or they can be any desktop kind of thing. Okay. So we are going to see the results for these three screen sizes. So let's get started. So here I have opened my index.html page. In that I am just going to import my HTML boilerplate code and I am just going to title it as media queries. So media queries I am titling it and in body I will be taking one div. So it should have a ID of container just to capture it in for our CSS part. And I am just going to take three div. Let's say they should have one ID of box. Yeah. So one div is created here and I am just going to copy it down. So for this, you also have a shortcut in VS Code. Let's say I want three divs for with ID box. So you just need to write div hashtag box and yeah, into three. You just need to enter it. Yeah. So here is the result. Okay. So for each div, I want them a class name of one and one, two, and let's say three. Okay. So in the first div, what I am going to write is I am desktop. So this div should be showed for our desktop screen. Second is I am iPad screen. So let us also write screen here. I am iPad screen, I am desktop screen and the third but not the list is I am mobile screen let's say yeah okay so how to style this and make the web pages responsive okay so let's get started with our CSS part in our style section so I am writing my style scene CSS part in our uh, internal style sheet Okay, so that you can see the HTML as well as CSS part together. Okay, so with that, let me just style out my container thing, the box or outer container, and we are gonna style it with a, let's say a background color I want, just background color of bisque, yeah. And for my box, I want a font, font width of bold, and font size of let's say 30 pixel will be fine and i want them to text align in the center only so center text align okay i'm just saving it so let us see how it looks like looks like on my browser yeah it is looking fine okay the next thing that i want right now is media queries so what are media queries so media query is a syntax by which you can make your websites responsive according to various different screen sizes as per different screen sizes. So how to achieve this? Let us see. So the syntax for media queries is like add the rate media screen and you can provide them a minimum and maximum width with the diff like with one keyword, let's say and and in parentheses only we need to provide them a maximum width and minimum width we can provide. So first of all, I am just using the maximum width thing here. So let's say for a maximum width of 480 pixel. So what does this mean here? Maximum width. So let's say I want something to show uh, in the screen size between zero pixel to 480 pixel. So in, in that case, we will write the max width only. So it will count the screen size from zero to whatever screen size we have mentioned in our max width. Okay. So let's say 
for this screen particular screen size i want my third div so i am selecting this div with the help of my class name that is 3 okay so this 480 screen size is for uh, mobile screens only okay so 0 to 480 so in that what i want i want my third screen to have a background color of let's say violet and a color of color of let's say white and I want it to have text like text align center. Okay, so that's the fine thing. Okay, so the next thing I want, I don't want to show my desktop, I, my desktop view and my iPad view for this particular screen size. So for that, what I will do, I will select this one and two by comma separated value. You know these selectors. So we are selecting two two things, two tags together, and I want them to display none so what does this display none do this will just uh, like make our tags hidden so i'm just saving it so let's see how it look like so i'm just inspecting my screen let's say so right now the maximum width is this 41485 okay so i'm just decreasing it so as soon as i reach 480 you might see the difference see as soon as i'm i'm reaching 480 see let's say I'm making it let's say, see for 480 I am only able to see the mobile screen then as soon as I am uh, like increasing it by one you are able to see whole three screens so I think my work is done for the mobile screen particularly see my for my mobile screen my media queries are working right now so the next thing that I want is for what uh, so I will do one thing here. I am just copying down this syntax. Okay. So right now what I want, I want um, like a uh, height, uh, maximum width of 880 pixel. Along with that, for my iPad screen, I also want a minimum width. So minimum width that I want is from let's say 481. From 481 pixel to this 880 pixel I want something to show so I want my iPad screen for this so my iPad screen is stored in class 2 like in the second view only so I will just replace the 2 here and yeah I will replace the 2 here okay so what I have written here so for my class 2 for my second div I want to show the iPad screen only and the like first and third div I don't want to show so I have just make it display none. So let us see how it looks like. Okay. So right now we are on our 480 screen. So as, as soon as I go on 481, you are able to see what I am getting only I am iPad screen. For 480, it is showing mobile screen and from 481, it is showing I am iPad screen. Okay. Until 880, it will show this size only. And as soon as I reach 480, see for okay i will give it manually so let's say right now i am on 7 it's okay till 880 it is showing i am ipad screen and as soon as i go on 881 it will show me all three screen so right now what i want i want it to show only the desktop screen as soon as i reach 880 pixel size so for that we have the other syntax that is mean with syntax so that's simple very simple it is so i am just doing one thing i am just removing this thing the max width and i want as soon as my minimum width is 881 just do one thing just show the desktop screen size only and make this second and third div as display none i am saving it so see uh yeah so right now I think you might be able to see that as soon as we so right now we are on 880 okay so on 880 from 480 to 880 I am able to see the iPad screen only and as soon as I go above this 881 see you are only able to see the desktop screen so the desktop screen will remain forever above 880 the only desktop screen will be shown I think you have got the gotten the idea how this is working so in the above section also you can see how media queries are applied 881 pixel 880 and this thing so minimum maximum width 
and all is shown over here for any website that you have open on browser so there is one fantastic fantastic thing that i am going to told you about the flex boxes here so how to make our flex uh, flex boxes uh, like uh, responsive okay so i'm just going to uh, show you that with the help of one example so i'm just going to name it id let's title it as navbar and inside this navbar i want three like three things so yeah so what should be let's say home i am typing second is let's say contact us i am just showcasing you by with the help of like a very small example of navbar how to make like navbar responsive for various screen sizes okay so you are able to see that yeah we are getting home contact and login so for normal screen size what i want for the big screen sizes let's say for this 881 and above pixel what i want my hashtag navbar to have a display property of flex so what does flex have so flex have a default property of let's say flex direction so default flex direction is row only but still we are selecting the row only no issues so as soon as i selecting row and let's make them justify content let's say space around so i'm just showcasing you how it how will it will like see it is having home contact us and login page and as soon as i go down you are able to see that my like what my flex is getting arranged in the fashion of column c so like this you can make your navbar also responds you with the help of this media queries so media queries plays a very important very very important role in making your web pages respond you so i hope you guys have got the idea how to write media queries and yeah that's it for today's video we are going to see the like more versions of this media queries whenever we are like we were implementing this in our project so yeah so if you like the video and if you find the content valuable then do subscribe to channel and don't don't forget to share this content with your friends i will see you in next video until then bye guys